hey everyone welcome back to the series of python tutorial today in this video we will talk about the functions in python so moving towards our agenda first we will talk about the introduction like why to use function second we will know what are functions then the types of function at last we will see some practical explanation of our function so let's understand what is function Suppose uh, you are creating a program in which radians must be converted into a degree multiple times. You need to write code again and again. So in order to come to this situation, we can create a function like suppose in this case we can see a uh, users take input in a radian, the value of a radian taken by our users. Then we can convert it into degree. Then we can print or simply return the value. Now. If we can see this uh, persons uh, try to run this code again and again multiple times to save the time or save the writing complexity we can use the function so what are function functions are a convenient way to divide our code into useful blocks uh, we can reuse it again and again and save our time a function is a block of organized reusable code that is used to perform some task it can be usually called by its name at a time of execution uh, we can also pass the value to get some result after this so how we can create a function to use a function we can use def keyword before any function name followed by some parenthesis then colon as we can see here this is a simple example of a function so we can understand what is function before that we can see uh, we have two type of function first is inbuilt function and second is user defined function for seeing inbuilt function like uh, you are printing hello here so the print is a pre-built function built by a python for reusing this code again and again uh, suppose you want to create uh, this function uh, for your function you can create anything like uh, if we talked about the example how we can create a, how can we convert degree into radian again and again without writing the whole code so if suppose we want to create that function we can create uh, we can type here def our function name like uh, radian uh, radii dian uh, 2 so uh, there is a like we can we are creating variable so we need to uh, focus that uh, the variable name must be started with uh, some integer value or the underscore so uh, creating this very uh, function name degrwe this is our function uh, we can simply write little small okay this is good so if you want to give some value uh, we need to write uh, arguments here like uh, we are receiving radian so we can write red now to continue with this function we have to put a colon here whatever we need to define in the function uh, we need to write in a one tab space as we are doing with if else command or the for loop uh, this is the syntax of a python so first we will take the input from the user like here uh, taking input from user uh, we can use input command uh, read equals to input uh, now if we can see radian must be in uh, some decimal or the float value so we need to type a state because uh, if we are using the uh, input function input function return whatever it takes in a format of string so we need to type a state float input or simply write here enter value of enter radian value so uh, this will take the input 
uh, as we have defined here suppose we want to give the input by our user so we can write here the argument or if we are taking input in the function so we can skip this now we need to write our logic uh, how we can convert our radian into degree so degree equals to r a d i a n into 180 divided by pi so to use pi function there is another inbuilt library but uh, we will use here 3.14 because it is the simpler, simplest way we can see how to write a code. Okay. This is okay. suppose you want to return or now for a seeing example how we can print here. Uh, here we are printing value. If we call a function and give some enter the value, it will print here. here. Then this function only uh, print the e converted degree okay and the e t r w so suppose if we run this function now we have created our function in order to call this we have to type the function name r a t i a n to d e g r w -E and the parenthesis so uh, okay it's spelling is wrong okay we need to enter our value so suppose we have to create uh, suppose we are converting one radian into degree the value must be the radian, 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 radian. Okay, it's a uh, radian. Okay, you need to specify what you are writing. Uh, if we are running this, so one, you can see uh, the degrees, uh, the radian is converted into degree. Uh, you can see for five, five point six point something. Okay. So now if you want to return this value, you can use return function R E T R T U R -E. return T T R E. So now this command will return the value of a degree. Suppose if we are using this function and we want to store this value in some variable called A we can use a equals to degree a uh, radian to degree function and when we will give input here like one so we can have we have stored the value in variable a we were if we want to say this we can type a here as you can see output now uh, in this program we are creating uh, we are taking the input from users if we are creating a program like a uh, sum if we are giving two number here mm -hmm. s u double m okay so if we are giving two number here i n j we want to return this sum in this we can use r e t u r n i plus j now this program will return the sum of the given two number so uh, if we want to use this uh, we have to pass argument i and j so in order to uh, do this uh, we have simply write to write sum and the value of i and j like 2 comma 6 it will return the value of i plus j means 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 as we can see we have got the sum equals to 8 simply you can do any of your function you will write to need there is one more simple way to do this is to make a lambda function we will tell about it in our next video so stay tuned and thanks for watching